I would say that the course here at the City of Glasgow College is one of the best courses in the country. It prepares you for entry level work into the industry. It gets you uh, into a situation where you're learning and you're meeting people uh, who may be uh, colleagues in the future and you're building up uh, your knowledge base. Recommending this course to potential students and that is that they'll get a, an experience that's uh, realistic, it's as close to life in television as you can possibly get outside of uh, actually working in the industry. I chose to study television production because I've always been fascinated with the television industry and I, I really wanted to learn about every aspect within the industry and hopefully I could get a job out of it, like doing something I love. The industry requires a mix of people and these creative individuals who have got uh, the ideas, they've got the passion, they've got the enthusiasm, they've got the vision to get something made, not necessarily knowing how to do it. But for every one of these people, you need a whole team of people who have technical and production uh, knowledge and who are willing to help a creative individual achieve their aims. We need uh, creative individuals who have a solid understanding of the whole process, from planning through to production and post-production. I feel as if this course is preparing me for a job within the television industry. I mean, we get to learn about every, every different aspect of the course, uh, from like filming and directing and the whole business side of it as well. So wherever we feel strongly that we, we've learned, hopefully we can get a course, we can get a job within that. The course is primarily aimed to uh, prepare people for entry level work into the industry and we have been very successful in that. Uh, we've had some major successes, but year on year, we hear of people who've been on the course who have managed to get work in the industry. It's not an easy industry to get work in. Uh, it's not necessarily easy to keep a continuous career. It's like any creative industry these days. Uh, it tends to be job-based uh, for a particular project or programme, uh, but we've had quite a high level of success. This particular course, uh has a pretty high success rate of placing students in the industry. Um, up till recently we had a, a success rate of around about 80% uh, in terms of placing students in the industry within a year of them leaving. In terms of having a formal education in the creative industries, uh, I think that's very important today. I think that you either need a formal education or you need training on the job and there are advantages to both, but uh, just being creative and not knowing how to use the tools, not knowing the conventions, even if you're going to break them, I think it's really important you do have some education. The sort of education that we offer to students of the creative industries here is focused on giving students a comprehensive understanding of the whole process of television production. With uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Vines, various other forms of distribution, uh, the formats will change, but I think some of the core formats will stay. So long form documentaries, uh, dramas that fit into a certain time frame, uh, as well as sort of movies uh, for broadcast will still continue. But the world's becoming a richer, more diverse place. But I don't think one thing will necessarily push out the other. YouTube and Vines are, are very popular nowadays within the online industry, but I feel as if they don't have as much money and professionalism put into it as film, films, television and documentaries are on TV. It's changing to some extent, the, um, but uh, I still see uh, a need for programmes that uh, would uh, have a duration uh, much longer than the five minute uh, um, productions that you see on YouTube. The industry is very ambivalent about academic qualifications. Uh, most employers say they want people with degrees. That in itself indicates uh, a relatively high level of education, uh, hopefully of intelligence and capability, be able to tackle uh, projects and tasks and so on. This course is very practical uh, and that prepares people for all sorts of functions in the, the television industry. I think to get a job within the broadcasting company, you'd have to have more qualifications than just getting noticed on YouTube. To get noticed on YouTube, you just have to be creative and eccentric and 
like get yourself out there, like have everyone know who you are. But to get a job within the industry, you have to know what you're doing exactly. You have to know what aspect of, of what area you're working within and have great professionalism to work within that.